situation in Sudan and we recognize that it has a spillover effect on South Sudan making it more difficult here in South Sudan to tackle uh, quite critical issues which this country is facing including economic and humanitarian challenges. So we would want to see peace in Sudan as soon as possible. Um, in the case of my mission, we do not have responsibility for Sudan, but I'm in regular contact with the UN structures uh, that are engaged in Sudan and they are doing whatever they can to support uh, the process of bringing the two generals together to negotiate the ceasefire, which I understand to be the preeminent initial uh, first step required uh, of those two. Uh, so that we can um, uh, deliver humanitarian goods and secure the space for a longer term uh, civilian led uh, uh, engagement uh, for a sustainable solution there. Um, we're, uh, as I've said to you, we're acutely aware that, that uh, one of the great dangers that South Sudan faces is that there will be attack on the oil pipeline, which would have an uh, almost immediate impact on the economy of South Sudan. And South Sudan is really not in a position to withstand another significant shock. Um, so far that hasn't happened, but it gives a real particular interest uh, to South Sudan to do whatever it can to ensure peace. Uh, let me acknowledge the efforts of President Keir to himself participate and support the peace initiatives which have emerged.